Parents, if you're brand new to church, there are three things that you need to know about getting involved in your local church. It's a great idea. You're going to be glad you did it. And church is going to make a huge impact on your family. But there are these three things that you should keep in mind. Here's the first thing. Parents are the spiritual leaders at home. Now, maybe you're showing up at church and you're not a very religious person. You're thinking, wait, I'm a spiritual leader. I'm not a I'm not a, I don't know anything about the Bible. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, you know, the whole reason I want to go to church is because I got to get my kids some religion, drop them off at Sunday school and kids church or whatever, go to church, whatever. Now, listen, the pastor of your church is not the pastor in your home. Parents, the Bible makes this very clear. Parents are supposed to lead at home. Now, hopefully your church um, really sort of equips you to not just you know, go to church once a week, but to take the thing home and and sort of do what we call on our website, family time. So check out the kids resources and you'll learn more about how to do family time. Because listen, parents, it's, it's not that hard. You don't really have to know that much. You can learn with your kids, but you're the spiritual leaders at home. Keep that in mind, even as you start going to church. Number two, parents should pursue God. Listen, Going to church isn't just something you should do for your kid's sake. You should pursue God for yourself as well, especially if you're new to this whole thing. Listen, don't give up on your pursuit of God. Don't just go to church for your kids. Actively engage in your pursuit of God. Listen to the message. Participate in the worship. Start reading the Bible for yourself. Go to a small group. Find a mentor. You know, Start using those resources online. Start doing some family devotionals or some couples devotionals. Even if you feel like you're totally behind the curve in the whole religious thing, don't give up on it. Pursue God for yourself. Really sort of invest in it for yourself. And then you'll, you'll find how easy it is to help your kids pursue God as well and really lead them at home. And it really is going to just change the whole family and your whole future. And here's the third thing. Parents, you should catalyze connections, not just for yourself, but especially for your kids. You know, just like you want your kids to be involved in sports and so you find a club for them or you make sure that they show up to practice on time. You want them to do well in school, so you make them do their homework. In the same way, parents, catalyze connections for your kids. Go to church every week and make sure they're getting connected there in their Sunday school. If, if your church has a mentoring program or other, other activities for kids, make it a priority. Catalyze connections. Parents, if your kids are teens, catalyze connections for them. Get them involved in youth group. Get, get them involved with a mentor at the church if there is such a thing at your church. Catalyze connections because, again, parents, church can change your world. It can change your kids' world and your teens' world. But you got to own it. you got to get into it. And you can step out there and begin leading. Now, use the resources below to talk about this maybe uh, with your spouse or even with your kids or with a small group. And continue to pursue God using those resources that we have online for you.